That is a bite on Pinky. That is. Ugh. That is the fish. That's the fish we're gonna have a hard time getting in. Well, I'm rolling down the road to the lake on a beautiful spring morning. It's about 45 degrees, foggy, no wind. I'm gonna see if I can catch some catfish. I've got some good bait. I've got some crappie. It's legal to use them where I am fishing. I had a crappie fishing trip yesterday, kept a few to eat. I've also got some I'm using for bait. So we're gonna see if any of the bigger spring fish are biting yet. We're not totally into the on fire spring bite, but we're gonna go out and anchor up in a few places, maybe do some drifting. Let's just see if some of these bigger spring catfish are biting. Well, folks, we have the uh, recipe for disaster taking place today. I uh, just dropped my boat in the water, and as I was looking, I saw a bungee cord. I get why well, nothing attached to that bungee cord. Oh yeah, that's my net. Yes, my big old monster net. I don't have a landing net. So if you're ever going to catch a big fish, it's probably going to happen when you don't have a landing net. Well, I made a little short run up the river here. Um, got set up on the edge of the old river channel. Uh, there's some arches in here. Decent looking fish. Also appears to be a lot of bait fish, some crappie, some shad. So it looks like a pretty good area. I dropped down a, a couple of minnows just to see if there's perch or crappie in here. But I'm anchored up six rods out, four uh, Santee rigs and two Carolina rigs. I'm fishing with a spotted bass. Uh, I had one that's been in my live well for a while this winter and I needed to go ahead and uh, use it. Uh, spotted bass are legal here to use. There is. Uh, a uh, very liberal limit on harvesting these things and they're legal to use. I'm in uh, fishing in North Carolina, so it's legal to use them as bait. So, got them out, got them on the bottom. I'm gonna give it, I don't know, maybe 45 minutes and uh, see what happens here. We're starting to get a little bit of inflow. We've had a little bit of rain, not a significant amount, but uh, there's a little bit of current here in this river arm. So that's good, will help with some scent and uh, Hopefully we catch a monster and I have to struggle with getting into the boat since uh, I didn't break my net. That one is eating line too. Mm. Good bite. Good bite. Oh. Oh, Mr. Shoulders. Mr. I got shoulders. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Y'all see the boat? There's a boat right there. The tow boat coming through. Lights are flashing. It's not coming for me. I don't know who he's coming for because there ain't been nobody up through here today. All right, fishy, keep coming to this side. That will be perfect. Perfect, perfect. You know what, guys? I almost went to Lake Norman to go crappie fishing today. So I get out of this line. There we go. Almost went there. I'm glad I turned left out of the driveway. It's a good fish. Coming to the right side of the boat, being very cooperative. Ease it up, ease it up, and see if I can get it over. There we go. There we go. Oh, Pinky. Woo, simmer down, simmer, simmer, simmer. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, boy. Just remember, guys, we don't have a net. Trying to play rod bingo here. Oh, get out of the way. 
Well, well, that's just a mess at this point. We're gonna have a mess here. AC, AC, AC. Watch that boat quit rocking. Nurse it up a little bit here. Don't know what we got. Man, this would be great if it's a flathead. Oh goodness. Oh. It is a huge flathead. I might have to get him with my hand. I might have to get him with my hand, guys. I do not have a net. Got him. He'll Billy hand fishing. Are you kidding me? Seriously. Seriously. Man, I got lucky on that. That's a great fish. <laughs> that is a great fish. Look at that. Yes, sir. <laughs> got me one. Daddy got him one. Oh, yeah. He is. Good looking flathead. Yes, sir. One last look at a whopper of a fish that's going back alive. There you go, guys. That's a uh, <laughs> that's the best fish I could catch uh, and not have a net with me. A flathead's perfect. You can get your hand into their mouth. Uh, a little damage, not much, uh, but they you know don't have the biting, crushing power that a blue has. And I uh, had a feeling it was a flathead. I was hoping it was. Got up there and it made that dive right there at the end. That's typical flathead stuff. They get up, get close to that boat, and boom, they hit it one last time. They're like a shark. Uh, but if you're going to have to put one in a boat without a net, that's the fish to do it with. And uh, came on a smaller, uh, it's a decent sized bait. It's one of the hookers, terminal tackle, uh, backstabber hooks, one of their circle hooks. And... Uh, you know, I think that's only a six odd hook. It's not a super huge hook. You don't need a super huge hook uh, to catch catfish. Uh, medium sized bait. It was a pretty good chunk of, I uh, can't remember if I had spotted bass or crappie out on that one, but a uh, pretty good chunk of bait. And uh, luckily, I got it in. I told y'all, since I forgot that net, I was going to catch a good fish. So there you go. There's a good fish. Uh, luckily, it was what it was. But yeah, I got them rebaited, got them back in the water. Gonna sit back here, kick back, and see if we can uh, maybe put one more in the boat. That is a bite on Pinky. That is... Uh, that is the fish. That's the fish we're gonna have a hard time getting in. Oh. That's a good fish. This is gonna be a problem. This is gonna be a problem. I just looked over guys and just seen it over. This is a good fish. Oh boy. If we get this one to the boat, we're gonna have a problem. In case you tuned in late to the video, I have no landing net. I got a new motor put on the boat. I took everything out of the boat while I dropped it off at the dealer. And my net is hanging at home. Insert picture of my net. It's a big fish. Feels big anyway. Ran like he was big. This may be the head of the spotted bass. It's in the river channel area. Let's see which side he's going to. I think he's going to that side. Maybe he's gonna come back over here. We'll see. Got an anchor rope out the back, so. Ah, gotta do some dancing here, guys. Oh, it's under that line. Be a tough one. It's gonna be a tough one. An 
anchor rope out the back and he does not want to go to either side. I hate that. I do not want to land this fish out the back of the boat for multiple reasons. He's staying right behind the freaking motor. Let's see if I can get him to the other side. This fish is all in the wrong place, guys. I'm slowly gonna let him swim to the other side of the boat. perch right out of the way. I much prefer to land this fish on this side of the boat. So B&M rod, Silver Cat Elite, Old Pinky, 30 pound Andy line. It's gonna be tough guys. Back off that drag a little bit. gonna be tough 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 deal it's a monster it's gonna be tough guys oh man it's gonna be tough it's gonna be a tough fish to get in the boat Normally I'd bring these fish in a lot faster. Oh God, he's huge. Gosh dang. He's huge. I hate to lift him with a boga grip. <clears throat> I'm gonna try to do something I don't advise anybody doing. And I'm gonna try to grab this fish by the jaw. It's a recipe for disaster. Mmm. The odds of losing this fish are very high, guys. Very high. Mmm. I knew this was gonna happen. Come here, big boy. Oh, you're barely hooked at this point. I gotta get you by the bottom of the jaw. There we go. There we go. Big mistake, rods not in the holder. Oh, oh got him in the boat. Gosh dang. That was freaking awesome. It's a pig. Good fish, guys. He is, guys. Big fish. Let's get him back alive. Guys, you can't make this up. That is two amazing fish off the same rod in the same place. And both of them hand grabbed to get them in the boat because I ain't got a net. Thank you, Lord. Blessed to have them. Uh, but crazy, crazy, crazy. Non-traditional baits too. I don't have any of the chicken out here today. Uh, I say non-traditional, it's like your typical shad. I've got crappy and I've got spotted bass. And uh, I mean, we've got two great fish, a really good fish in the teens and then a small one. So, I mean, it's a, you know, it's about probably an average bite. We've been here for probably, I don't know, two hours. I didn't set my timer. Uh, you know, four fish is not on fire as far as the number of fish being caught but to 
have three double digit fish is a pretty good day of fishing. To have a 58 pound fish, a 30 pound fish, it's a great day of fishing. So uh, slower than average bite, but a great day and very blessed to have some <laughs> big fish. More than anything, I'm blessed to get them in the boat uh, without a net. So uh, I like having a net though. It, it, it's easier on the fish. It's easier to weigh the fish. It's why the one fish I didn't weigh, I got measurements off of it. Uh, it's just easier to, to do that than trying to lift them up. If you've got a net, it's great. You cradle them, you can weigh the net. I take off two pounds for a net when I weigh them. And, uh, you know, it's pretty pretty good accurate weight. But overall, it's really nice. Starting to warm up a little bit. Uh, we're getting a little warmer here. I'm getting ready to lose this. Uh, sun's wanting to peek through, but not yet. Still fogged up. Fog's starting to burn off. Uh, it's actually supposed to end up pretty warm today, up in the 60s. So, uh, you know, start out chilly and end pretty good. So still, uh, that one boat that came by, that uh, uh, sea tow boat's the only one I've seen today. So got it made out here. A little bit of current, not much. Gonna give it a little while longer. See if there's one more in here. Well, folks, if you made it this far, thank you for watching. Here are a couple more videos that I think you're gonna like. I'd watch that one and then that one. No, no, do, do that one first and then that one. I, I don't know. Just watch them both. They're both good.